Ah, it's coming too. Mm -hmm. The S responds to audio. No touch reflexes. Reckon we should rough him up a bit? Nein! Yours. See, his optics are engaging already. You do the speech. It's your turn. I did the last one. That one was a dud. Oi! Ah! Stupid synthetic. Since you're incompetent, I do the speech. <laughs> Welcome to LifeBot 7478. You're the newest addition to our fleet of working synthetics. A slave. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to begin by starting your optics. Like we have two eyes, you have two cameras sending images to your processor imitating the human vision. Does he really need to know all this? All he's going to be doing is making sneakers. Silent. Anyway, everything will still be blurred because your cameras can't quite stitch images together like our brain does. Try focusing on my finger by closing one eye at a time. Mm -hmm. Magical. It moves. Yes. See, for humans, by having images from two slightly different angles, joining them creates depth in our vision, giving us depth perception. Your processor works this out by having a blue image and a red one, and then filtering the final image with these glasses. Here, try them. The red lens sees red parts of the image as light, and blue ones as dark. And the opposite for the blue lens. By choosing both, your processor as strict as was thinking the differences are due to their being distant. Now, this will give you the effect of seeing depth. Very good, very good. She's taking it. Well, what? Oh, oh, oh. Put that oh, down. Oh, Put oh. that down!